Well, today is Small Business Saturday, and many business owners say it's more important than ever. On top of the ongoing pandemic, of course, mom and pop shops are facing supply chain issues and staffing shortages. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge has more now. My wife does all of these soaps. Eric Penn is the owner operator of the Dr. Penskin Shave Company, selling candles, soaps, and mugs. He and a couple vendors banded together under one roof to keep rent low. They're called the Shops of Soho. We were closed six months, and even when we opened in the fall of 2020, business was really at 50%. Things started to happen once we got the vaccines. But now Penn says he's dealing with supply chain issues. We've had some issues as far as replenishment. Uh, they're backlogged. In the next stall over, Tatiana Francis runs a clothing company, Jolie and Jade. She says it will be a while yet before she gets back to 100%. Compared to my peak years, maybe 65. In Ridgewood, Queens, the community got into the holiday shopping spirit along the 71st Avenue Plaza. Oh, I think it's better, way better to go small. Um, the custom ability, uh, the camaraderie, the people you get to know inside these stores, you get to really you become family in small businesses. New York City's Small Business Services Commissioner Jonelle Doris says mom and pop shops are what drive the economy. You're talking uh, over 3 million uh, people employed here in the city by small businesses. A lot of small business owners, especially restaurants, say they're facing staff shortages and have to work overtime to keep their shops open. It takes hard to find workers. Perhaps they're still in unemployment or getting, and, and they're not ready to come back to work yet. Tasty's Diner has been in the neighborhood for 50 years. The latest challenge facing them inflation prices are going up you know and it's gonna we're gonna end up having to push it to the customer these owners are hopeful there's still plenty of time for New Yorkers to show up support and spend money in Ridgewood Queens Natalie Dudridge CBS 2 News